Xin Wang from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Today I'm going to present our joint work with Dr. Lei Bu and other college, colleagues in Nanjing University on applying hybrid system model checking on CPS. We all know that one feature of CPS is that it's a hybrid, and the other feature is that it's often safety critical. Therefore, model checking is often an indispensable procedure to guarantee the, the CPS applications to be verifiably safe. And because of the hybrid feature, it is natural for us to um, wanting to apply hybrid system model checking to CPS applications. However, although hybrid system model checking is a great success for control CPS, when we try to apply it to other CPS applications, we encounter problems. Uh, let's look at two examples. The first example is laser tracheotomy, medical device plug and play. In this scenario, a surgeon tries to cut open the windpipe of the patient using a laser scalpel. However, if the windpipe of the patient is filled with high density of uh, high concentration of oxygen, then shooting laser on it may trigger fire on the patient. Therefore, the safety rule says we cannot shoot laser when the patient's windpipe oxygen level is too high. Uh, for train control systems, we have several concepts. The first concept, concepts, the first concept is movement authority or AMA. That is a segment of railway uh, that a train is authorized to move within. Uh, the second concept is the safe braking distance, SBD, uh, which is the estimated distance for a train to reach a full stop. The third concept is radio block center, uh, RBC, which refers to the wireless communication backbone of the train control system. So every train in the system has to communicate with RBC uh, for updates of the movement authority, MA, every 500 milliseconds. If a train's SBD tip point, the safe braking distance tip point, reaches the end of the current MA, then the train must stop immediately. This kind of braking is called normal braking. Uh, otherwise, if a train gets no updates from the RBC for five continuous seconds, then the train must also immediately brake. This kind of brake is called emergency, uh, emergent brake. The safety rule says no train should collide during emergent braking. The conventional hybrid system model checking is done offline and tries to verify the safety of the system for time unbounded future. Uh, when applying this conventional approach, we face two challenges. First, it is often difficult to model the variables offline. For example, the blood oxygen level of the patient is affected by too many factors, uh, such as the patient's age, gender, weight, and even emotional uh, mood. So it's practically, practically impossible for us to describe, the, to predict the blood oxygen level offline using differential equations. Um, same thing for the train control systems. Uh, although we can give the range of the train velocity, during offline, the upper bound and lower bound of the train velocity. Uh, the exact value of the train's velocity during runtime is actually determined by the train driver. So it is also impossible for us to give the offline mo accurate offline model for the train control system. Uh, the second challenge is the state-space explosion. And also, because of the involvement of human factors, a lot of nonlinear functions also increase the complexity of our verification. To deal with these two challenges, we propose that we need to alter the conventional uh, hybrid system model checking approach to online periodical modeling and verification for time-bounded behavior. We find that two, the two challenges are being dealt with. Uh, the first one, the difficult to model offline state variables now becomes easy to model online. For example, if we carry out periodical modeling and verification of the patient and with a period of one second, then we only need to predict the blood oxygen level for the next one or two seconds. And this can be easily done with conventional linear regression. Uh, also, due to the online modeling, modeling uh, many previously hard to predict configuration variables now becomes fixed constants for the specific period that we are verifying. For example, if we verify the train control system periodically with a period of 500 milliseconds, then we can safely use the reading of the train velocity at the beginning of the period to be the velocity for the whole verification period. Okay. So this greatly reduces the verification state space. Also, because we are verifying only the time bounded future, uh, this also reduces the verification state space. Thirdly, um, 
due to the online and time-bounded verification, a lot of originally nonlinear behavior now can be approximated using linear functions. So all three factors uh, simplifies the verification. Uh, due to this kind of simplification, our verification can often be um, finished within short and even real-time time-bound. Um, such as for a train computer system, we can finish it within 58 milliseconds. And uh, for uh, laser trench automy and PPMP, we can finish it within 0.27 seconds. So in conclusion, for many CPS applications, we need to alter the conventional way of hybrid system model checking to online periodical modeling and verification of time-bounded um, future behavior. And this can simplify our verification, making it fast and even real-time. We apologize due to visa and the family reasons we cannot present this paper in flash. However, if you're interested in our topic and want to comment, please feel free to contact us. This is our contact information and this presentation is also available online on YouTube. Thank you.